Welcome to Mind Academy Sports. We help athletes learn the connection between their mind and performance. All right, I thought of this concept a couple days ago, and it's about this video game. Oh, I forgot we're at Notre Dame today. Beautiful campus, enjoying the weather outside, enjoying uh, just in, just trying to get my thoughts together. I'm about to work and do some studying a little bit later, but. I thought about this concept yesterday. Uh, one of my video games that I used to play wasn't my favorite. 007 off the N64. When I grew up, this game was cold. It had us all in the headlock. All right. Now, during this, it's basically a one-on-one -on -one shooter game, basically Call of Duty before Call of Duty. Now, inside this game, inside this game, you had normal guns. And pretty much most of the guns, you know, you had you started off with a little baby pistol. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody want to use that. You can't do nothing but hit somebody in the head with it. All right, then you have your intermediate guns, okay? Most of the guns on that game will put you on an even playing field with everybody else. You've got to be smart in the way that you move, okay? You've got to be smart. You've got to be strategic. And pretty much you're on the, you're on the even playing field. Now, every once in a while, you find a gun... Uh, and when you find these gun, if you're on a team with another person, they will say, hey, let's run it right now. This is our chance because we can absolutely dominate this competition. When you have this gun, you, you can kill anybody with one shot. Even if they hit you two or three times or whatever, when you got this gun, you are a super, I'm telling you, you turn into a machine. Okay, and this gun was called the golden gun. All right, when you get this gun, Everything is powerful. Okay. So, me as a coach, I started out as a mental coach and I still am a mental coach and I've been doing this for eight years. I love it. I can supernaturally help people uh, absolutely transform their, their game. They can get rid of any mental block if they have mental blocks, any confidence issues, anything by straight working with their mind. Mental toughness coaching is my passion. But, uh, I also love to work with athletes and help improve their speed. So I decided to combine the two. All right. Now, if I have athletes or a group of athletes that's playing in a game, I don't really have confidence. I have confidence in them. But because I know the way the mind works, all right, because I, I know the way the mind works and I know how competition works, I know that they're on an even playing field with the other team that they're playing. It's going to, I don't care if they're faster, bigger, stronger. It's going to be an even playing field. 21-14, you're going to play average. It ain't going to be no greatness. You're not going to transcend that whole competition if you don't learn to work with your mind. I don't care how fast you are. Now, when you can implement mental training, all right, and you do it the right way, you destroy limiting beliefs, you get all your, your thoughts on a confident uh, uh, track, all right, and you zoned in for that game, now I know that my athletes have the golden gun, right? And now I'm confident. Now I can sit at my home in peace because I know it's some domination about to happen. And we did it last year. And when I worked with a few or a couple of players, they absolutely killed it, didn't lose. When I worked with both of them, they didn't lose one game until they were deep in the playoffs. They broke their school records as far as the rushing goes, all right? And they had one of the best seasons in 20 years, all right? So I came to tell you, if you want that edge, all right, if you want that golden gun, if you want to dominate the competition, yes, the prerequisite is to work on your physical game, but the real, the real difference, the real difference is in the mind. Now, you won't really know this um, until you get up to higher levels. If you're, you know, if you're still at a high school level, you kind of think that your domination is going to come through physical means. I, I squat 500, I bench press 400 pounds, whatever you think. You know, I run a 4-4, four four, that's cool. But once you get up to the higher levels, once you get to college, or once you can actually get into a semi-state game or state championship game, you quickly realize everybody's fast. Everybody's fast. Everybody can squat 600 pounds. 
every you know people run four threes like it's nothing all right your real challenge and when people look at you and they're evaluating you they're going to evaluate your intangibles yes they look at speed that's cool but uh if, if i'm a we're just gonna put a hypothetical if i'm an nfl coach and i have 90 people out here and i've got to evaluate to get down to the 53 I'm not, I'm going to take into consideration their speed, but more importantly, it's their intangibles when they're in that, in that game situation. Do they have poise? Do they have confidence? Do they make the right play? That is the true essence, you know, of what people look at. Uh, so if you want to dominate the competition and you want to know that you're going to dominate every time, then mental training is for you. All right. If you guys, if any, if I have any sports parents that are on this YouTube and you know that your son and daughter has any level of mental block. All right. I want you to get in contact with me. My information is below on this video. All right, guys, as I leave, remember, you're only one thought away from your next greatest performance.